I started uh, collecting coins uh, uh, since my childhood uh, because uh, the fact that uh, a coin uh, of a foreign country looks different from the coins that we have in hand uh, uh, actually tempted me to, uh, to have that in my possession, to have a collection of those coins. So th that's where I started collecting coins, uh, uh, foreign coins. Uh, slowly, I realized that uh, Indian coins also were issued uh, in during the various ages uh, and uh, different periods of time. And uh, those coins uh, were sort of relate, relating to uh, what I studied in my, uh, in my school. So then I got uh, more enthusiasm to, uh, to uh, uh, collect those coins and to study more about coins. And then I realized that there's actually a very vast Indian uh, numismatic history and then uh, the coins uh, actually contribute to uh, building up of our history. So that sort of prompted me and uh, uh, enthused me to uh, continue a collection of coins as a hobby. My collection of coins uh, initially started out uh, as uh, collecting um, the day-to-day -day common coins of, uh, issued uh, by the Republic of India. But uh, slowly I realized that I need to have a theme uh, so that I can focus on it and uh, derive a sense of satisfaction uh, out of my own collection. So I started, uh, I decided that uh, I will start collecting coins, one from each dynasty, right from the beginning of uh, our uh, ancient uh, Indian Janapada period uh, till the latest, uh, uh, just before the uh, British, that is the princely state. So I decided that I will start collecting one coin, just one coin, irrespective of the metal, irrespective of the value, one coin from each dynasty right through the ages. And then uh, that, that is uh, how I have uh, progressed and I have arranged all those coins in the chronolog chronological order. And as I, uh, as I have done so, I actually realized that they actually tell stories like how the ancient coins were different and then there was a technological advancement and there were uh, better coins that were produced, the metal changed when the economy dipped and, uh, and then we have the uh, later uh, during the 16th, 17th century, the introduction of machine struck coins which are really made out of very uh, fine uh, material and uh, metal and which looked uh, uh, very glamorous. Coin collecting uh, on a daily basis actually um, to me uh, helped uh, helped in a very unique way that it 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 it, it acted like a stress buster. So um, uh, whenever um, I actually get a coin um, uh, uh, speed posted to me, uh, I uh, deliver to me. I look at it, I open it, I see I see it, I hold it in my hand, and then the the feeling is really uh, quite different. And then I take it, I catalog it go and add it to my uh, rest of my coins in a particular order which I maintain and uh, the fact that I see those coins uh, actually um, gives me a lot of, uh, sense of sense of satisfaction and uh, acts like a stress buster. My advice to kids uh, on coin collection is, uh, is, is that uh, take it slow um, uh, think about what you really enthuse ent you or interests you and, uh, uh, and once you decide what really you want, you want to do, whether you want to collect coins uh, of uh, let us say post-independent India, you want to collect currency notes, or you want to collect ancient coins, coins, medieval coins and so on. So there are various, uh, various different uh, fields of coin collection or rather themes. So uh, what really you like to do, uh, think about that. And once you've decided, you start reading about it. And, uh, and uh, once you start reading about it, uh, you will get a, a, a sort of a framework in mind. And, and then based on that framework, you start accumulating coins. You can go, it, go on it slow. You need not really have to hurry it up because it is a, uh, this hobby is really a lifetime hobby, a way that you build a higher loom and you hand it over to your successive generations. Go slow on it and uh, go steady on it and join the local groups uh, uh, a numismatic society that is there in your neighborhood or try to find out other people, uh, like-minded people in the same hobby and exchange your uh, thoughts and ideas and, uh, and build up your collection.